Hey guys, welcome. Today we're doing a spotlight of traffic control. As you can see behind me, we have some traffic lights going. But this is not the road that we're going to be in for this video. Um, this video is long. However, in the description is times of certain recipes in case you ever want to look backwards at this. Anyways, this shows every single last item in this mod. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so this is items and recipes. Um, it's all I'm really going to show you. This is a mod showcase, spotlight, or showcase, whatever you want to call it. So I'm not going to show you too much press. And I mentioned this is going to be a long video as it is. So we're going to get into it. So to start, we have the horizontal pool. So if you grab three pools, which I'll show you the recipes to those in a minute, you can actually craft a horizontal pool, which is just that. I'm going to and break it here and grab it. I'm also going to grab this one as well, because why not? All right, next, we have a pool base, or a crossing base is what it's called, but. So we have a crossing base here. It's a cobblestone at the bottom and two iron on top of the cobblestone. We'll get you one of these. It's just simple and basic. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and leave this down there. So it's basic. Next, we have the actual pull. This is actually used in the recipe for the horizontal pull. You get three of these when you do three iron like this. So you get quite a bit. A pools and then you can use that to actually craft one of those as well next we have a three frame traffic light this is the basic traffic light that you see around in IRL it's the most common out of all of them other traffic frames to make this you will get one when you craft iron like and this and iron on the ends and then redstone in the middle of the iron which gives you a traffic light frame, which is actually kind of cool. Um, though if you put it in the ground, that happens. So it is actually recommended, if I grab this pool here, it's recommended that you use a pool for traffic frames, which, which puts it up. Anyways, now we have the single frame. The single frame is basically a frame that only shows one bulb at a time. You get three when you basically put a three frame into a crafting table. So if you put one of these into a crafting table, you get one of three of these, which you can use around your world, which is pretty cool. It's used for like flashers and stuff like that on signs. Anyways, now we have a two frame bulb, which is great for crosswalks. So you take two single frames and you'll get a double frame. Which once again, like just like the thing, it's better on a pool, but yeah. You can kind of see how that works. Anyways, now we have the four frame. The four frame is a really cool frame, also common in the, in the United States, is a four frame. It's used for a flashing yellow light usually. So the top bulb will be like a red left turn arrow. The two centers pieces will be two yellow left arrows. And the bottom will be a green left arrow. Which then the one close to the green will flash. And the other one will just be the yellow for changing cycles. <laughs> it just requires two two bulb frames. Which then makes this. Now once again, make sure you place it on a pool because I always that happens I will go ahead and place it on this sign actually just so you can see that's how it looks like next we have the five frame I really haven't seen this one used IRL but I guess they use it to make it into this mod so it has th three on the top and two at the bottom of it it's like the four flame almost but bigger um, my guess is Going kind to of be similar to like that dog houses to where you have the three solids and then the whatever turn arrows you choose to have. It just requires two three frames, 
she doesn't make sense. It's six in total in that case, but I'm not going to judge the rest of these, which then gives you a traffic frame, five ball frame. Now, it is the tallest block. It does consist of two blocks, so just keep that in mind. And you can actually, again, once again, place it. Now, it will go through the fence line because it's not really made to be placed on a fence. And it does clip through the fence, but like I said, it's not made for a fence, it's made for a pool. <laughs> like this case is. Anyways, now we have the doghouse frame. This frame is kind of cutting through the chest, and that's because of the closeness. But yeah, that's what a doghouse frame looks like. To craft this, you just need two, three frames next to each other, which then gives you one of these. And once again, you can place it on a pool, which then gives you an awesome look. Next, we have the T-frame, which is a new block in the traffic control. Brand new, actually. And it's a cool frame, actually. Really realistic. Also, another common traffic light framing. used Mostly, I see it used on left turns. They'll put two solid or two left turn reds on top, and then they'll put in... At the bottom, the yellow and green. It can be used on straights as well. Again, T red, yellow, and then green at the bottom. It's very useful for making sure there's always two red lights shown at the same exact time. To make this, actually, all you need is a single bulb frame. You need one, two, three, four of them in the shape of the frame, which is nice. So it actually matches how many bulbs there are inside this frame <laughs> and you can kind of see the t sh the a y shape in this but i guess i we could have made the recipe that way but anyways that's the recipe right there it gives you one of these which then you can place once again probably best if you place it on a pool which is thinner where it won't go glitchy next we have the tuner The tuner allows you to pair traffic lights to the control boxes and any other item that has a control box to it. So like the rail set, the rail items actually have a relay box and then the traffic lights have a traffic control box. So you can pair those together using these. So all you need is three iron, one gold, and a piece of redstone in this order. And that gives you a tuner. Which then you can click. So, like on this control box, I can click and I'll go ahead and get into pairing mode. Now, you can't see my chat because I have chat disabled, but you get the point. <laughs> so, that's how you get one of these. <laughs> Next, we have is a traffic control box. To get one of these, you need one gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven iron and one redstone block, which will give you one traffic control box. Very useful for pairing lights. Now, I do want to show you something, but I'll show you here in a minute. But this is the manual mode, which in this case I have set up for those bobs when I get to the bob section. When I get to the sensor part, what I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the video so you know because at the end of the video we'll do a little bit of a showcase of how these things work anyways next we have the red solid bulb this is another one that's most commonly used because it's just solid it's a good one for straight so it just needs a redstone lamp plus a red dye pretty simple recipe though expensive and again is pretty cheap actually, other than the redstone lamp. The redstone lamp is probably the only thing that's expensive. Mm. Now let's go ahead and continue on. Oh, yeah, I've got to grab the item out. So that's what it looks like in your inventory and what it looks like on the ground. Next, we have the yellow solid. Again, in our common one, this is to go below the red solid. To get it, you just use the redstone lamp and then yellow dye. Pretty simple to make. Next, we have the green solid bulb. This is a really cool one. This allows people to know it's time to go. Again, redstone lamp and 
a green dye to make this one. So it's pretty simple. A lot of these recipes are the similar in these three. Next, we have another set of new bulbs. Is the straight bulbs. Now, this one's red. So to craft this one, you get a red solid bulb. So it's a bulb that's red. Which gives, and then it shares. Now, it's a little bit expensive. Yes, because then you eat a red cement, press red dye, then you need shares, which is two iron. But it's worth it. It gives you this arrow. These are something that's starting to pop up for certain situations where it's just straight and straight only. So it's actually very cool. <laughs> Next we have is the yellow straight bulb. Again, yellow bulb with shears. Pretty simple to craft, actually. Only requires two items instead of multiple, so. Next, we have the green straight arrow. Once again, just a green bulb this time with shears. <laughs> Pretty basic. As you notice, a lot of these stuff is actually the same recipe, but important to cover. <laughs> Next, we have the red left turn arrow. This is where the recipe starts getting a little bit more complex. So this tells people that it's not safe to turn left. Actually, you should stop and not turn left. It's like the straight arrows, except now it's pointing left. To get it, you just use a redstone lamp plus two redstone die going towards the left side of the crafting recipe table. All right, next, we have the yellow. You just need a redstone lamp plus two yellow die. That gives you the... Yellow, left turn, arrow, yellow. Next, we have the left turn, green arrow. Once again, it's just a redstone lamp plus two green dye. So pretty simple. Okay, next we have the pedestrian cross bulb. This lets pedestrians know that, hey, it's safe to go. So to craft this, using your redstone lamp, press a green dye on top of that redstone lamp. And that will give you the cross bulb. Next, we have the don't cross bulb. This mentions, hey, don't cross. It's not safe for you to cross. So what we can do to craft this is a redstone lamp and a red dye. And that gives you the don't cross bulb. Which is actually pretty cool if you're planning to add pedestrians. Next, we have the right turn red bulb. That just requires a redstone lamp plus two red dye, this time going towards the right. And that will give you the red arrow for the right turns. Next, we have is the yellow. Redstone lamp plus two yellow dye going towards the right. Gives you the yellow. Now, you may be wondering here why you don't see green. I'll get to that in a moment. Next, we have two new bulbs. No right turn. Bulb is one of them. And it is a really cool bulb, actually. To craft this bulb, you just need a red arrow bulb for a right, and then a red die. Now, a white die probably have been simpler, but in this case, red die will give it to you. I decided to match the colors, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah. When I added this in, I guess I wasn't really thinking about the recipe very well, but it works. So that's how you get a no right turn bulb. Pretty simple and pretty basic. The no left turn bulb is also just a left arrow plus red die, which gives you this color. Bulb. Pretty basic, pretty good, and actually amazing that now you can have no left turns automatically display with code or whatever, which it makes awesome for like if you have um train tracks nearby. <laughs> Here is the green right arrow bulb, finally showing the last because I forgot to put it in almost. Redstone lamp plus two green dye going towards the right will give you the right arrow bulb that is green. All right, next we have is. OC support, which is brand new. So this is a tier 
one traffic control card to get it using the Aralis network card tier one plus a tuner and that will give you a traffic control card which can be used in open computers which is what you kind of saw in the beginning of the video actually <laughs> um next we have the tier two card this is just crafted by getting a tier one card and adding it with a memory card and that gives you a tier two card Next, we have tier three. This is the tier that I use the most in my world, even though I have creative in that world. To craft it, you just need a traffic control card, or traffic light card is what they're called, but I call them traffic control cards, which is tier two, and then memory tier two to get this tier three card. So it's actually pretty cool. So you use each tier to upgrade each other too. And that gives you the tier three. Okay, this one does not have a recipe, but I'm going to talk about it. And that is the traffic control card that's creative. It is used for creative mode. It gives you almost unlimited slots of lights. On like these have limits. Um, down below it would be docs to the... Actually, down below is the link to the mod. If you click on that, there should be docs linked there as well. Which should explain what these are. Anyways, next we have the straight... Aero sensor. This allows you to go straight. Now, players cannot activate these. However, you can go into config and add it. So, if I like, if I was to summon a pig, for example, if I get a pig, as you can see, things pop up. We have the entity pig, which you can import into the config, and that will get you what you're looking for. Now, I'm not going to kill him. He's going to stay there and chill. Anyways, to get this, you just need stone in this configuration. Press a block of redstone and redstone, which then gives you the traffic sensor straight. Now we have the right turn sensor. All you need is two straight sensors, which then gives you the right turn sensor. Next, we have the left turn sensor, which you just need one straight sensor for. And that gives you a left turn sensor, which is actually pretty cool how you can get each sensor using the first sensor. <laughs> okay, next we have a sign, a traffic control sign. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you what it is. As you can see here, we just have a railroad crossing sign and then a stop ahead sign in construction format. Now, you can change these signs to be whatever in this big menu. I'm not going to go through every single last sign. But you do also have custom signs. Like, I have a, made a mod pack for exit signs, for example. That adds, you allow you to add an exit number to it. <laughs> so that's pretty basic. All you need is a painting and a piece of iron. And that gives you a sign. And once again, you just pick a sign from the list. <laughs> This is a push to cross button. This is about pedestrians we use to call for the cross in the automatic mode if you're not using OC support and you're just using a regular control box to do everything. You push, it makes a sound. You may not be able to hear it, but yeah, it makes a beep. To make this, you just need two poles with redstone in the middle, plus a button beside the redstone towards the right hand side and that gives you one of these all right next we're getting into stuff that's used for railroads this is a relay box this is what communicates between all of the rails, railroad stuff which you see here in a minute all we need for this is iron ingots like in this configuration gold ingot and redstone which will give you one of these. Which is, this is the reason why it's so big, so I can actually do stuff with this. Okay. Ignore this chest. I don't know why this is here. But um we have a row crossing here. So this is the sign that for that indicates row crossing. To make this you see right karakaki or terracotta, whatever it's how you pronounce it, press iron. And I'll give you one of these. I'm going to place on top of this random chest because why not? 
Anyways, now we have a tr a crossing gate. A crossing gate's simple, and it works simple. So I have it set at the lower rotation of zero, upper rotation at ninety, get length of four, activation delay of one, and light offset of one. You can set it to one. And if you watch the actual showcase from the mod over, if the thing's bigger than the I think the gate lights won't show, which is cool. Now I'm gonna bring back in. I'm gonna head and bring it back in here. I should bring it back in. I was going to zero right now. So I bring it back in. If I hit this, the gate will actually start coming down instantly because I have it set to instantly do it. Now the default values is I believe. 80 or 60 60 here and then four here and then of course you saw the default for this earlier i don't remember what it was anyways so we have actually here i can actually show you the default so if i go ahead and get a gate the defaults are right here that's where it starts out as so to get one of these you need a white terracotta Press a red terracotta, then two iron ingots, press a gold ingot. Pretty simple to make one of these. And right, I grabbed the one when I had one right there. I'm not 100% I'm sure. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off to, just because. Next, we have what is called a crossing lamps. We need to activate these. They just flash back and forth just like they do in real life. To craft one of these, all you need is iron ingots and then two redstone lamps. Pretty simple. Now next we have is a let's see, safe train type three bell. This bell actually makes a sound. In case you can't hear it. And then, there we go. So it makes a sound. Now I'm gonna turn it off because they're loud. That is because iron ingot and gold ingot, I believe it, yeah, it requires it to be in that pattern. <laughs> All right, next we have is a safe train mechanical bell. That's what it sounds like. And that just, it requires iron in a plus formation. <laughs> All right, next we have, oh wait, I forgot to place these items down. I've been doing that all the way across the board. I might as well just continue doing that. I'm trying to grab those. There we go. Anyways, now we have a WCH electric bell. This is what it sounds like. It actually sounds similar, probably to most of you. But anyways, all you need is a safe train type three bell, and that gives you one of these. Next, we have overhead thing. Bob, wherever they're called in real life, I'm not sure, but um, this goes over the railroad road part. It's quite common over busy roads, and I guess it may show up on side roads too. I'm not 100 sure, but to craft one of these, you just need iron and gets in a square formation like a chest for the most part. And this shows it right here, actually, pretty well. And then you can just place it down. Next, we have is an overhead pull addition. So this adds a pull, which can be mounted to a pull. Just get this. You need iron ingots like that, and then overhead. And then that will give you one of these. Right, next, we have the overhead with lamps inside. Just like the other lamps, they activate and work well. To craft one of these, you need crossing lamps plus an overhead pull, which gives you one of the overhead lamps. Next, we have the overhead cross buck, which looks like this. It's a pretty basic block. <laughs> and all it requires is a cross buck plus an overhead block, which then gives you one of a cross buck that's overhead. Now we have the big rag. This is actually one of my favorite blocks. Or many blocks in the game. It just simply goes back and forth. Like a wig bag. I really haven't been able to find a real life example of this yet. But um, 
I know they use it in real life. I sure has a purpose as well. So to make one of these, you just need iron ingots like this plus a redstone lamp, which gives you a thing. Now the now the this doesn't really show it, but once you place it, it will show the little thing that turns on and moves. It's actually kind of cool. Miss. Now we have a border shunt. Now this needs to be next to a train track in chat if you actually place it without train tracks being nearby it will warn you so it always requires a stone let me check out the correct yes, stone red stone and then orange terracotta it gives you one of those next we have a island shunt and that will go towards the island of the railroad crossing. All you need is a border shunt for this, and that would get you one of these. It is you would need two of each, so you need two border. Actually, you definitely need two islands and two wars by minimal, and that is for a simple reason. So, like, if I go here, and I so this is how the setup look like for those and now she got in a minute anyways now we have a street light it's a single street light and if i set it tonight it actually lights up the area around it which is pretty cool to craft this all you need is redstone two iron and then redstone lamp and that'll give you one of these Right, next we have the double just like the past one at night it does light up or not day it's just looks it's nothing but it actually does light up the area quite a bit that gives you the craft this one is just like the other one a single but you add one more redstone on the other side which then gives you the double okay next we have the cone the basic cone now What's funny about the cone is you can actually wear it like, like a hat. All you need is orange terracotta and three white terracotta plus three cobblestone. Now I'll give you a cone. Again, it could be worn as a hat for some unknown reason. I don't know. Anyways, next we have a regular channelizer, I guess is what it's called. You get eight of these when you put cobblestone, white terracotta, and orange terracotta in this pattern. So you get eight of these cones, which is a lot of cones, if you ask me. So your next big construction project will have plenty of cones. And it's the same for the barrels, the barrel, the drums, I guess, is what they're actually called. Again, can, all these can be worn as a hat. So you get eight of these, and you craft it in this order. But that was the craft. I had to wait for that. These are the recipes. And you get eight of these, which is actually quite a bit of drums, which can get you a quite a distance. You may have to craft multiple still, but at least you won't have to craft as many. So it won't be as expensive, which is good. <laughs> Anyways, next we have what's called a guardrail. Guardrails are important if you don't want cars to go off the road. They do stop you. <laughs> So if you don't want cars going up the road, this is actually important, especially in areas like hills and stuff like that. And I'm actually quite bad at not adding these. But, um, yeah. So to craft this, you just need three iron plus any wood. Because if I open this up, it shows a lot of wood types here that can be used. So and it, just, and it gives you four guardrail, too. So you can actually make quite a big of a guardrail with four. In some areas, four might be enough, or you may need to make more, but it won't be as expensive to get. Next, we have what's called a barrier. This is a type 3 barrier. Now, I'll get into this why the pattern looks like this, but these is how you craft it. And simple, we can have a sign on it as well. So this is the first sign, and I'll show you the next sign here in a minute. But real close, we have real close, lane close, and then real close to the traffic. All right, this one is a type 3 barrier, but it's towards the right 
of the stripes. So you just need to tape the barrier and that will give you this one. Oh yeah, one more thing to mention. This one gives you eight as well. So you can make right amount, which is cool. And you can also put a sign on it as well. All right, next we have the street sign. Pretty basic GUI. And this requires an iron block, or not iron block, iron ingot, and then a sign. And then you can just place it on any pool. I'm gonna place it on this fence. You can add text, you can change the color. Um, you can also add it on top of another sign. I'm gonna change the color. And it just adds customization to your streets. Now you cannot add it to a pool, but it is cool if you're on top of a sign, which can be cool for like the side of the road. These ones are called concrete barriers. There's many colors you can craft. Too many for me to go through every single last recipe, but I will go open every chest. So I'm not gonna explain every single recipe. They're all the same. Set up. All you need is the right color concrete. It's like this is white, this is orange. It gives you six. Like I said, I'm not gonna open every single chest here, but I actually wanna do a quick open. You can pause where you need to. But um, yeah, that's how you get these. Like I said, I'm not gonna place every single one of these blocks. It would just take too long to do so, so. Anyways, that's this part. Now I do need to get into creative here so I can show you this next uh, showcase part here. So I'm gonna, since I don't have chat, I'm gonna need to use my brain. Oh, I guess I can't. Yeah, okay, I guess I have to enable chat. Okay, so now that we're in creative, so that's all the blocks that you would probably end up using. Could, just to show you a few examples of how things work. So on the traffic control box, if you add a straight on a ped, or a ped, button here let me find that control by real these are actually important to know so if i was to pair you see that now we have minimals and times and stuff that is important and then for the traffic control stuff um you just grab a card and a frame i'm gonna put it on top of that for now and then you can go ahead and link it and then you can use that in open computers. You should already know how to use it. And then allow you to customize your scripts. Anyways, that's traffic control. Well, anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like always, please subscribe if you like this. Also, the link to the mod is in the description. As well as timestamps in case you ever need to come back for recipes. And yeah, um... As you can see, actually, my script for traffic control is actually working at this intersection right now. And it's running off of a server. Um, if you want a video on how I code traffic lights and how I got my script to work to restart Rust, let me know down in the comments, and I'll make one. Anyways, this is Gamru, and this was traffic control mod 1.0.0 mod spotlight. And I'll see you guys in the next video.